Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall the Casper Sky Security Cloud. Now, technically, if you got this program installed for the free version, and it's a pretty good system. I don't, I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's pretty good for it for free antivirus protection, and you also get the Casper Sky VPN, and you also have the password ability also to use for it. But if you don't want this, let's say we paid for a paid version like for Bitdefender or Norden or something like that, then I understand that you want to get rid of it or randomly you just don't like this specific antivirus protection, then I understand. So we're going to be showing you how to uninstall this program. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much pretty simple. You can go to start and you can select the settings and then choose apps. Let the apps load up. And you'll scroll down until you see the Casper Sky Security Cloud and the Casper Sky VPN. And you pretty much can select the uninstall and select uninstall on it. And you'll probably be prompted for this and select yes. And that says, are you sure you want to uninstall the Casper Security Cloud? So you're going to go ahead and press yes if you want it to be done. And it'll tell us if you want to continue pretty much. Tell us if you want to leave any data that's set in there like data vaults and stuff like that. I'm actually going to uncheck everything. I don't really need anything to be saved for here. And I'm going to press next and press remove. Now, before I continue going on to this to remove it, if it comes to a point where you don't see it here in settings, then you also have another option to get to it by going to the start menu. And you can search it right here. And you can type in Casper. Oh, I totally misspelled that. Casper Sky. Well, that one's coming up. And there's also the cloud one. You would right click on it and you can select uninstall. And it'll locate you to the programs and features, and then you have the option to select the uninstall from there. Another option is pretty much pretty simple to get to the same location, but you can go ahead and just type in control panel. I just typed in control, and then from there you'll choose it says programs, and it might look like this. If not, it might look depending on your area. Uh, most likely, it probably looks like this for you. you. Come here, you'll select programs and features. If wrong category, then you can select just the uninstall program. And then you can choose the Casper Sky Security Cloud and to uninstall it from right there too, or double tap it, it'll do the same thing. But that's in case it doesn't want to show up there. So from that point, we're going to go ahead and continue uninstalling the program. So the program is pretty much being uninstalled and it's finishing up removing the last files that's there. And it's pretty much getting cleared out. I got a notification telling that you don't have a your pretty much antivirus protection is off. Technically, Windows Defender will come in place. Not Windows Defender. Um, Windows Security because it changed their name pretty much. But here it is. And it's removing the file. And it tells if you want to restart the computer. I'm actually going to press no for right now. Because I actually want to uninstall the next one called the Casper Sky VPN. So you'll choose the same steps by selecting uninstall. And I'll probably prompt you again. Go ahead and press yes. And you'll press next. It tells if you want to save your operational settings and applications. I'm actually going to go ahead and uncheck that. And go ahead and press remove. And now it's pretty much validating the installations. And it's removing the stuff that's not needed. And it's removing the shortcuts. and removing the files. And I think it is pretty much gone. It tells you want to restart the computer. I'm going to go ahead and press yes. And we'll take a look and see if this program is still there after the computer is completed. Alrighty guys, so pretty much the antivirus protection isn't showing on the desktop. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to the start menu just to see if we see it anywhere. I currently do not see it. Let's go ahead and go to settings. I could have just went to it right here. Settings. And go to apps. And it doesn't show up. It looks clear. And it'll pretty much be gone also underneath the other programs. Let's see if there's any other stuff a folders got left behind. We're going to go ahead and go to program files. I don't see anything that contains the name. Let's go ahead and go to the 64-bit if you have the bitty. I double-clicked the wrong one. I don't see it there. I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to program data. I don't see anything specifically installed. Anything in Microsoft possibly? Nope, so pretty much everything looks good. Something says vault. What is that? Nope, it's not it's different date though, so it won't matter. So I think we are pretty much good. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.